What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel. I'm back on some Need for Speed Heat because it's been a while. And by a while I mean it's been a long long time since I've actually played this game. So I wanted to just hop back on and uh, you know just just play it again. It's, it's literally that time of year again where I just hop on to a previous Need for Speed and I tried to play it and try to see if I can have a little bit of fun on it. Regardless, I think this one was one of those games where I got bored very, very quickly of. Need for Speed 2015, I still made a bunch of videos on it. Need for Speed Payback, again, I made a bunch of videos on it back in the day. This one, I sort of just gave up on it. I just didn't think it was that great. Um, even though I think this one had a lot more stuff in it than Need for Speed 2015 and Need for Speed Payback. Uh, obviously, had more customization and all that stuff, but I feel like it's been recycled. I'm going to go ahead and build this 350Z. Um... In this video, that's what's gonna happen, and I'm gonna be driving it and all that sort of stuff. But I, uh, I just wanted to say, I just feel like this game has just been recycled. I just still feel like this is the same game that came out in 2015. It's just slightly different with graphics, but the cars and everything—they're all identical. Even the the actual traffic, the surrounding traffic, everything that's there is still very, very similar to 2015. Like, there's not much that has changed there. Um, Graphics-wise, like I said. Pre like before, I said it before, I'll say it again. Need for Speed have very, very good graphics, right? Very, very good when it comes to uh, when it comes to graphics. I think like they're definitely one of the best in the game. Like just how detailed everything is, the ground, the car, e every single bit of detail on the car looks so good, so so good. And I definitely do think that that is that's a big strong suit with this game. However, a big let down, I guess, with Need for Speed games is their handling physics. I'm just not a big fan of them. And I just don't think replayability is is there as well for any of these Need for Speeds. I just feel like once you complete the story, once you complete the the main career mode campaign, whatever it is that you want to call it, once you complete that and you've driven the majority of the cars in the game, or let's say you've driven all of the cars in the game because there's usually not that big of a list of cars to drive, you're pretty much done with this game and you don't really want to go back to revisit it again because okay cool well I don't know what that was about but okay <laughs> anyway I'm gonna hop back into the garage and uh, I'm gonna start modifying this thing I don't really know <clears throat> how much money I actually need for this I have a little bit of money uh, hopefully it's enough to modify this 350 I'm gonna turn it into Rachel's 350 yeah for obvious reasons uh, it is a Need for Speed classic. It's an iconic card. This is technically building an icon. Sh Shut up. I was thinking about doing a building an icon video, but doing it on this game. However, I kind of want to modify the card a little bit more than, uh, than and then just keeping it very, very simple to the way it was back in Need for Speed uh, Underground 2. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and do some stuff to this thing. So let's let's buy stuff. Let's do some stuff to this. I'm gonna turn this into a proper street build here. Uh, not much in terms of bumpers. I like the Alchemist kit, but I think this one is a little nicer. It reminds me of the the whole Amuse kit. You guys have seen that. The Amuse 350Z looks so good. It's just mental looking. Um, and I really, really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start with the lower half first. Uh, which is weird because this Voltex kit just doesn't look that good compared to the Alchemist kit. So I'm going to put the Alchemist kit on this rear end here. When it comes to the fuser, we can have the fuser on this. Oh, okay. That's kind of weird. But the Rocket Bunny the fuser that we can have on it is slightly different. I don't really know if I wanted a fuser on it, to be completely honest with you. However, I can go slightly wider. I'm not going with Rocket Bunny. There's absolutely no chance. I like that the rear bumper actually matches up with the skirt. That's good. If I do this, like I said, I definitely don't want the white body. If I do this, it matches up with the front end as well. That's good. Doesn't really change much because I think the front bumper already does most of the changing here. It's more to the back. Yeah, it's more at the back end. Plus, it changes my track width for the front wheels, which are kind of. I think it's a good thing, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, my headlights, do I want to change these or anything? Slightly darker, I guess. Would look good. I don't really want to add any sort of crazy tint on them. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, as for my hood here, 
Anything on the coast of the hood? I mean, we have this one, and we have this original body here, or we have the Voltex Carbon Fiber one. We'll put the Carbon Fiber one on. Um, Canards, don't really want to add those on at all, to be honest with you. I can have a splitter on my bumper here, which I don't really want to either. I'm gonna go with full, full early 2000s spec build on this thing. So, there's not much I'm gonna be changing on it to make it look... Uh, to make it look like anything modern, it's gonna look so old school. And I'm perfectly happy with that. I'm perfectly happy with making it look more like early 2000s sort of build here. That's why big wing, big spoilers, big everything. Probably not that big, but something that will suit this quite nicely. Um, APR wing looks good. I think the uh, this one looks a little better, the Voltex one. It's just a little wider. And a little lower, which I kind of like. This APR one is just absolutely massive. Yeah, it's between these two. I think the Voltex one kind of suits this thing quite a bit. Yeah, I'm going to put the Voltex one on. It's a nice, nice position. I'm guessing the taillights are just like more tinted. Yeah, I don't really want to tint those. I kind of like those the way they are. Right now, and I think we're pretty much done with this part here. Uh, I guess the wheels come next. I kind of like the way this thing looks. Like I said, it's very uh, really early two thousands, which is kind of what I want to do. That's actually kind of cool that you have the other option of stock wheels for this thing. We also have these Nismo wheels, which I think I'm gonna put on because I think they are on the actual car. I think these Nismo wheels are on the 350s, on Rachel's 350Z from Underground, which I kind of want to do. Uh, but yeah, like I said, these wheels are all identical. They're all the same from Need for Speed 2015 and Need for Speed Payback. They're literally identical wheels. Like, nothing has changed since then. They've added the exact same wheels back into the game again. Maybe they've added an extra, like, few wheels since then. But all of these are all the same. Even the way you select them and everything, it's all identical. They haven't really done anything there. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to go with the Nismo wheels. Because the Nismo wheels are the same as the one on the... The, uh, 350... I, <laughs> I tried to change... I tried to see if I could skip a few of them. Um, like in, uh, like in Forza, but instead it's just my horn. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, let's change that size. Uh, yeah, we'll get them as big as possible. Why not? Uh, primary paint, I'm going to leave those away. Uh, secondary paint, that is the rim around it. I want to change that into chrome. I'm going to put that to all wheels. I kind of like the way that looks, so I'm going to do that. Uh, calipers are fine. The Brembo's are standard, so I'm going to keep those like that. Brake discs, uh, I can put like ventilated discs on it, I guess. Ventilator or grooved discs. Yeah, we'll go grooved, why not? But the calipers are going to keep the standard Brembo's that are on it. As for my tires, uh, should we go stretched? Should I go stretched? I don't think back in the day stretched tires were a thing. But since we're modernizing back in the day, I might put some stretched tires on it. It would look kind of good as well. Plus, once I lower it, it's going to look even, even better. We'll see what it looks like as well once I... Uh, once I do all of the uh, suspension changes and all that stuff to it. So again, wheel size, big as possible here. Go back, go to tires, change the tires over to stretched. And then I'm gonna go back to the front. I'm gonna go to rims, I'm gonna go to secondary paint. I'm gonna go to that, and then apply to all rims, just so it's, it's identical now on the back end. Now the only thing I'm gonna do here is get the brake discs, change these to grooved. I think we're pretty much done with the wheels as well. Right. I definitely need to change the stance of this thing. Actually, we do need to get a paint on it, so I'm going to go ahead and try to find a paint that's close to, if not the same, as the... Here's our first one. What's this look like then? That looks quite good. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Again, like I said, it's more modernized. Definitely doesn't have Injuku Racing or Bride. Does it say Sparkle? Maybe it does. I, I'm trying to remember what it actually says. I think it might actually say Sparko on the uh, on the car in Underground 2. But yeah, this is what this thing looks like, and I kind of like it. I'm going to keep this this paint here. If I scroll through, there's another one here. What does this look like? 
Um, this one looks okay as well. It's a bit too matte for my liking. I prefer the first one. And then, I don't think there's many more after this. Whoa. This reminds me of the skyline that you see in the... Uh, Okay, so for anybody that's played Underground 2, does anyone remember if you go and you check out, like, the, sort of like a, not the tutorial, but like the, the little video that shows you when, you know, or how to drift, or how racing works, sprint races, stuff like that, and then you have an R34 skyline in those videos that has the same paint as this. It's like blue with yellow, like, like, sort of split stripe on the side, and it looks so, so good. This was also nice. I prefer the first one, though. I think the first one's still the nicest looking one. Because of all the stuff that's on it, it even has like decals on the windscreen and everything. I think I think I'm gonna go with the first one. Is it this one? I think it's this one. All the decals that were on and stuff. Oh no, it's not this one. That's the matte one. Where's the first one? This one. Look at all the stuff. I really like this one. I'm gonna put this one on. Cool. Well, that's fine with that. Uh, we still have three hundred and something grand to work with here. Uh, right height. Getting this nice and low. I'm not going to even change the camera this thing, because I don't want to. Uh, I am going to go into my exhaust sound. I don't want any of this... Wait, I might keep it a standard engine. Actually, I should do that, right? First. I should mess around with my performance stuff. Before I do anything else here. Uh, right. I was thinking about keeping the standard engine. We can actually change it. Something else. We could put a rotary in it. If I really want to. Um, I mean the standard engine we can do some stupid stuff too as well. I'm kind of tempted to just keep the standard one in. Or. We upgrade to the same. Oh okay we can't upgrade to it. Because <laughs> it's way too expensive. Alright. Standard engine. We just upgrade parts. Right. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'll go with... Oh, I own most of these anyway. What am I doing here? I'll go with, like, the highest possible one that I own. We'll just do that, right? Do I have to buy anything here? I don't think so, because I own it, right? So if I do this, and I go to... Equip item. Yeah, it doesn't cost me anything. Perfect. We'll go with Elite Plus on everything, I guess, since I have extra ones there. Not a bother with that. I don't mind at all. I have a turbo though. We we can turbo this. We can also supercharge it. I'm down to turbo this. Why not? No, I just don't really care for that at all. To be honest with you, I want to get this thing to handle quite well. I'm gonna bring it towards sort of in the middle of road and drift. So maybe something like this, like showcase suspension. I'm gonna buy this. Um, everything else, I'm just gonna pretty much upgrade to maxed out. That's a lot of loads of money to mess around with anyway. Tires, again, like I said, more towards road and drift. Um, on road tires seem to be good. Just by looking at that little sort of graph that's there, that does help me out a lot. Change my clutch. Uh, six speed in this thing. That's fine, I'm gonna keep that going the same way. This, I'm gonna just do... Uh, where's this one? Showcase differential. This one brings it more towards road than drift. Yeah, I'll put this one on, actually. Okay, and I'm done. I don't really put anything else on this thing. Uh, I'll go back into customization, change my exhaust sound. I definitely don't want the overrun stuff. Like, look at this. If you put this to raw, it's just... Goes forever. I really am not a fan of that. And I don't really like the way even the stock cars do that in this game. I really don't like it. I kind of like that in the middle. Seems kind of nice.
All of it in the middle actually seems kind of nice. Uh, anything else? Effects? Backfire? Don't really care about any of that. Underglow air suspension? Could put some air suspension on this thing. Yeah, why not? It's not really going to hurt us at all if I do it. Uh, nitrous color, don't care about that. Don't care about literally anything else on this thing. I just want it to look good and drive well. Okay, I'm done. Let's drive this thing. Actually, before we do that, what's our power and stuff? Uh, here, can I change it? So I can see. How can I change this? I can't. View car? No. What am I supposed to go into here to be able to actually see my horsepower and stuff? Toggle stats. There we go. 776 horsepower. Uh, can I see how much it weighs or anything like that? Or it just doesn't want to give me that? I guess it doesn't want to give me that. It's just a very weird setup here. Like, whatever. I, I honestly... <laughs> I honestly, I'm just... I'm just tired. I'm just going to give up on it. Just give me the specs of the car. I don't care about, like, the graph that shows me how fast it is. I want this game to be... Oriented in more towards car enthusiasts than children. Turbo sounds good. Yeah, I like this thing. It looks cool. It actually does look very, very good. Building an icon, but in Need for Speed Heat. It's a little different building something like this in this game. Because I feel like it just belongs here. Whereas when I was building it in Forza, it just felt a little weird. <laughs> What's this look like? What's this lower though? Wait, 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 wait. Let me pull up here really quick. Uh, how do I do this again? Is it this? Nope. That's not it. How do I do this again? There we go. That's it. Oh, this looks good. This looks very good. Uh, is there a way I can go into my camera settings? There we go. Into the camera settings. Oh, this looks good low, man. I like it. I like this thing. Yeah, like I said, graphics-wise, I just feel like this game has just got it down. It's so good looking. You can say whatever you want about this game, but like when it comes to graphics, it's just beautiful. There's so much detail and everything. The paint, the rain, like literally just running down the car. You can see like the the little wave and like everything, just because the raindrops are there. Like it's just it's a very very good looking game. The reflections are very very good as well. It's a lovely game to look at. Look at that paint. That's mad. Yeah, like I said, very good looking game. I think. I still think that it needs to cater more towards the car enthusiasts than it does towards uh, towards children because, like, I, I feel like this game could be so good. Or not this game, but, like, this series, like, Need for Speed. Imagine if they just remade, if they just remade Need for Speed Underground 2. I'd buy that shit immediately, man. I'd buy it immediately if they just remastered that game. I've said this before. I honestly do wish that they could do something like that because it would be brilliant. It'd be absolutely brilliant. Well, there's my my thumbnail anyway. Um, but yeah. There you go. Car lifting up. That scared the shit out of me, by the way. <laughs> I also hate the way I can't change my controls on this thing. Like, I'm stuck driving. Like, I know I can change the drive to manual. I just hate driving manual by pressing, like, the buttons at the top, which is weird. Or the bumpers even, like the left and right bumper on my controller, it's just so dumb. Just let me change it to one of the A's, X's, B's, all that stuff. Which is something that I don't think you can do in this game. It doesn't feel that fast. Why does it not feel that fast? Also, I'm braking, and it's just not braking. I'm braking and trying to turn here. At least it does want to drift around every corner, so that's good. Because in older Need for Speeds, you literally just turn it to a corner and it automatically starts to slide. So that's good. At least in this game, you have to sort of force it a little bit more. However, I just sort of feel like now it just... If I don't specifically build it for drifting... I can't get this thing to slide at all. 
Like, not even with, like, handbrake. Like, I do this with my handbrake. That's it. It just does it by itself, and then it just stops itself from sliding. Yeah, sounds are also very good in this game. Very, very good. Okay. Well, I hope you guys found this video entertaining. Especially with the whole 4K graphics update or whatever that I've decided to do on my channel. This video should look very, very crazy because it's very, very colorful. Especially compared to Forza. It's like, there's so much more, you know, like, neon everything and just, it just should look very, very good. And uh, very pleasing to watch. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed, like I said. Uh, I'm going to go back to playing uh, Forza again after this. I don't feel like... Oh, okay. I don't feel like uh, I'm going to have fun playing this game because I just don't think there's anything else to do in it. Like, after I finish the story, I'm pretty much done. Like, there's nothing else to do. But, like I said, uh, I wanted to hop back on and just sort of play this game a little bit just to see. Maybe I could get that spark again to play it, but I guess not. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.